Dolan waits on the clearance and doesn't get it out. Mariani. McPherson comes back to take it from him and drops it off for Rawlick. And the Stars have worked that one out. And the Stingrays make a couple of changes on the fly. Dolan's onto it. Back out, McPherson couldn't take it and he was in a good position. And this is where Guillaume Doucet can be so dangerous. Taken down by McCluskey, play still live, he tried to sweep it in. And it was saved and stopped and the whistle has gone from Wilson. And McCluskey's going to head to the box on the first minor penalty of the game. McPherson across the red line across the blue this is good and that's a good save from Bacala and McKenzie gives him a shove and everyone's going to give everyone a shove and Lozon's really not happy about all of that there's McCluskey on the bottom of the pile I believe. Yeah, it looks as though Lozon is going to go for a bit of a sit down. We'll check along the boards, but Polistroni continues. Trying to turn it out, bounds, sees the puck and drops his glove over the top of it. Mariani. Swindlehurst plays it around. Sacchetti spreads it wide. Polistroni. Shot from the angle, gloved up into the air by Bounds. And then caught. And Sacchetti couldn't stop himself from skating into the net. And McCluskey will reach this first. Sacchetti. Shot on Bounds, it's gone in! Bounce thought he had it, but it's gone all the way through. The Stars are back in the lead. And a shot from the boards. And Nico Sacchetti has goal 28 on the season. At the end of the second period, the Fife Flyers lead by two goals to one against the Edinburgh Capitals. Not sure on the scorers, but it is 5-2, Edinburgh 1, end of the second. Silverthorne backhand shot, and that came up on Bacala. And he reacted well. Swindlehurst around the glass, and out of the zone. Gominyuk, Ladigin, fired back in. Play stays alive. Swindlehurst under pressure from Lozon. And he's turned away from him. Can't get it out of the zone. Lozon back. Can he stick handle round? He can't. And there's no penalty. There's a one timer from Dusa. Saved and then in. And listen to the cheer that reached the goal of Sylvain Cloutier. 
boy, did the Stingrays need that. And they've got it through their player coach. to put it over the line. The time of the goal will be 51-55. And now here's Davis and listen to the roar. Stingrays fans right behind their team. Opportunity, brilliant! Pasha's wrist shot! Hutchins and Kaczewski are furious on the Stars bench. Their lead has disappeared in a little over a minute and a half. Stingrays continue to roll three lines. Remember, they're in action tomorrow at Brayhead. Opportunity, oh, and the little shot squeezed in and saved by Bounds. Just suddenly opened up, I think it was Wirral that took it in. Bacala stays on the bench, 6v5. And it's Bagran who's been entrusted with this face-off. And Sylvain Cloutier is going to put himself forward for the Stingrays. Still waiting. And the Stingrays have cleared it. Have they found the empty net? You bet they have! will surely claim the two points now. Gomenyuk is credited with the goal. Fifty-nine oh six. the time of the goal. So Pavel Gomenyuk has his second on the season. Cloutier with the assist, it's an empty net goal, play still continues, but surely the Stars can't find two. Final 20 seconds ticking down, the Stingrays fans are on their feet. The Stingrays haven't had days like this during the Elite League era. They are heading for win number seven in a row. And they are top of the conference, four points clear of the Dundee Stars tonight. Eat, sleep, win, repeat.